Yeah, and like a, as part of that discussion, you you talk about representation uh, amongst the workforce, and you prefer that word over words like diversity and inclusion, which get a huge amount of, of airtime uh, at the at the moment, and you know are are integrated into a lot of culture statements and strategy statements. C can you explain why they're different for you? Um, yes, yes, I can. Um, and for for me, it's 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 just it, it's it's language and how we how we choose to use language and move forward. So, so diversity and inclusion, as you as you rightly point out, that's been what those are the terms that have been used, um, if you like, more and more. But um, I argue that actually we need something different. So instead of diversity, I would use representation. So that actually that instead of being diverse, representation really actually starts us to think about the diverse nature of what we're talking about, whether it's age, multi-generation, sexuality, culture, religion, whatever. Are we represented in a way that is right for our business, right for our purpose and right for our people so that they can buy into it? And then inclusion was a different was was an interesting word for me. Instead of inclusion, I felt belonging and involvement were better words than that. So inclusion, you can include me in a project because you want a diverse group in there. It doesn't mean I'm going to do anything there. I might just be there to make up the numbers. Mm -hmm. But if I have a sense of belonging and I'm fully involved in it, then I have far more buy in. So I think those are better words. Um, and it's far more balanced. And that's where I yes. think the equitable yeah. bit comes in. You know, that that's where the, the, over the last couple of years we talk about the uh, the level playing field that people have. And then the final one I would add to that, Shay, is this is that is the is the word bias and conscious bias, unconscious bias. We're all biased. We're human. So I think a better word is tolerance, mm. because tolerance reflects that we acknowledge our biases but we need a diversity of thinking to be more tolerant and more accepting of difference. And in fact, it's something that organisations need more than ever, a diverse thought process in innovation terms, but also in very specific industries like HP in, um, in Australia. I think it's HP Enterprise in, um, in Australia. Um, their, their, their group of neurodiverse employees, which were very specifically targeted on some scientific data, were shown to be 30% more productive um, than um, the rest of the workforce in uh, in HP. 